We shall now study the server side update code for AJAX. Right now what do we have? Right now this is what we are having. This is the edit. This is the edit. User is clicking here. A dialog is popping up. It is showing a form obtained from the server. And server got it through your template. With this form there is a save button here. We have a save button here. When the save is clicked at present nothing is happening. What we have to do now is that when the save is clicked an AJAX call should go to the server and update on the database should take place. This is what we want at present. To recapitulate this is our editor template and this is our index.cshtml that showed the data. Home controller consisting of index and AJAX edit and get updates. Now let us run to see what we have at present. This is the form that is shown to us. Click on edit. The dialog pops up. Click on save. Nothing happens. Neither the database is updated nor the form is dismissed and nor is this table being updated. What we have to do now is we shall do that when we click on this save at least the database should be updated first. So let us do that now. If we have a look at the myeditortemplate.cshtml Here we wrote a function called AJAX edit. This is the function on the server side to which this form will be posted. This form will send you the product codes or whatever information we the user has typed on this form. This will be an AJAX post to a function called AJAX edit on the server side. But if we go and check our server side, we have not written that function yet. We wrote the function for get that filled that information in the editor template and displayed on the screen. So this is the form that is available. This form has been uh, the drop down and all. This form has been sent by this very function. This one. But where is the receiver when you click OK and this will be received by the other pair of AJAX edit. We will write that now. So we can find a space here. It will be an HTTP post. As usual it will receive a TBL order object. And we are returning JSON because this is an AJAX call. It will return JSON. The JSON will be OK or not OK. So we are writing it OK and in case some error occurs, we will return as something error occurred. But we will return it in the JSON. The object that has come from the form is available in TBL order. Since this is coming from outside, we will attach it to the existing TBL orders collection ctxt.tblorders.attach and by default when an object is attached like this, it is attached in an unmodified state. So we should set its state to modified so that we can because it is actually an object that we want to update against the database. We know that it is modified and then putting the save changes in the try catch. So in case something goes wrong an error occurred JSON will be sent to the server or to the client side. 
so we have added an HTTP post for the AJAX edit so that when the user clicks on the OK button here this function on the server side is available to receive the data and it will receive send either OK or error occurred. Now what should happen is at least the database should be updated. We have not written any code for, up, uh, for dismissing the dialog but at least the database should be updated. Let us now run it and see it. Clicking on this edit, I'll change it to mobile and change it to Z order and change it to 100 and click on save. This will not be dismissed because we have not written but we will now refresh the page to see that mobile Z order and 100 are the actual values available here. You can see the record has been actually updated in the database. That is why when we refreshed it, we got the updated values. So in this lecture we have learned how to connect this AJX OK button to a server side receiver. In the next lecture what we shall do is, we shall write the code for dismissing the dialog and updating the table at the backend, the table that is shown below.